بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Welcome to another episode of Refresh Your Iman And in this episode we remind ourselves Starting with myself Certain rites, certain rituals, certain things that we do Today I want to remind ourselves The rights of our parents Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already decreed and order and ordained the rights of our parents. But Allah said, فَإِنَّ الذِّكْرَ تَنْفَعُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Allah said, remind, indeed remind will benefit the believers. So my statement will only benefit the believers who are watching. I ask Allah to make you among the believers. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah said in the Quran, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُ إِلَّا إِيَّهُ وَبِالْوَالِدِينَ yes. Allah said, Allah has decreed that you should not worship any other God, any other deity but Allah and be kind to your parent. قَالَ الْعُلَمَانَ The scholars said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put the rights of the parent right next to a tawheed, right next to his worship subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that shows the importance of the parent. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, wa wasay, wa wasayna al-insana biwalidayhi ihsana, biwalidayhi husna. Indeed, we advise mankind to be kind to his parents. Hamalathu ummuhu wahnan ala wahn. Wa'fan, yani weakness upon weakness. The mother will carry that child, weakness upon weakness. And then when she deliver, she will deliver through pain. And when she delivers that, she will maintain and suckle that child up to two years. That's a long way to have someone being attached to you all the time. Now, this is just to show you how difficult is the job of a parent. But unfortunately, as children, we always drift away from our parents and we drift and gravitate towards independency and we try to be independent from them not knowing their hearts and uh, and the, the heart emotionally and physically are connected to you when you get ill they get ill when you get hurt they get hurt when you're in pain that you're in pain when you have fever they have fever when you cry they internally cry you know they you don't know how difficult it is to be parents it's not easy yet sometimes we mistreat our parents and that is wrongfully wrongfully acts that we perform sometimes my dear brothers and sisters in islam if you want allah to love you and if you want allah to please you all you need to worry is how to please your parents because the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qal ghadab al-rabb min ghadab al-walidayn sakhat al-rabb min sakhat al-walidayn wa rida al-rabb min rida al-walidayn he said the wrath of allah is with the wrath of the parent. So if your parents are angry with you, then expect the wrath of Allah. But also if your parents are pleased with you, accept, expect, I'm sorry, expect the pleasing and the pleasure of Allah. If Allah is, if your parents are pleased with you, your parents, if your parents are pleased with you, Allah is pleased with you. Now I want to tell you a beautiful story. How the student, the Sahaba radiallahu anhu, how they used to connect with their parents. Abdullah ibn, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, Abdu, I'm sorry, Abdullah ibn Umar radiyallahu anhu, he married this beautiful lady that he loved her. So that he came, Umar ibn Khattab came to Abdullah ibn Umar and he said, I want you to divorce your wife. He said, no, I love my wife. Then the, Umar ibn Khattab, he went to the messenger of Allah, he said, Ya Rasulullah, I asked my son to divorce his wife, but he refused. Guess what the messenger of Allah said? He said to Abdullah ibn Umar, divorce your wife and listen to your father. After the death, now Abdullah ibn Umar, maybe if you were someone else, you would say, well, my father made me lose a beautiful woman that I love. But listen to what Abdullah ibn Umar did. The same Sahabi, he saw this Arabi, this Bedouin. And this Arabi was walking and Abdullah ibn Umar was on his, his donkey with his students. So when Abdullah ibn Umar saw this Arabi, he got off the, off the donkey and he went to the man and he welcomed him very well. He sat with him, he fed him, and then Abdullah ibn Umar has nothing to give 
but his turban. So he took off his turban and he gave it to the Arabi. And he took over or he took his overgarment and he gave it to the Arabi. And he called for the donkey and he gave it to the Arabi, to the Bedouin. So the students after the man left, قَالُوا رَحِمَكَ اللَّهِ يَا أَبَا عَبْدِ الرَّحْمَنِ يَا أَبَا عَبْدِ الرَّحْمَنِ مَيْ اللَّهِ هَفْ مَرْسِي أَنْ يُوْ إِنَّهُ أَعْرَابِي كَانَ يَكْفِيهِ شَيْءُ الْيَسِيرِ He said this man was أعرابي A simple thing would have been sufficient You know what he said? قَالَ إِنَّ أَبَا هَذَا كَانَ صَدِيقًا لِعُمْرِ بِنْ الْخَطَّابِ سبحان الله He said the father of this man was the friend of Umar bin al-Khattab So the ulama said مِنْ أَفْضَلِ صِلَةِ الرَّحِم Yani, Allah, the best way to, to be kind to your parents is to be good to those whom your parents love or related to them. I mean, I know the subject is very, very important and the time is very short. We ask Allah to give us a concise wording of presenting of our presentation. Wa barakallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa jazakum Allahu khair. Wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.